Just headed out to go ice fishing on Strawberry Reservoir. Um, we came out a few weeks ago and found a pretty good spot, so we're just heading back to it, see if the fish are still there. Just hauling the sled. There's my father-in-law. It's maybe just over a quarter mile um, from where we parked to where we're gonna start fishing. Uh, last time we were only in like about 10 feet of water, but staying shallow, we got some pretty big cutthroat and some rainbow coming in. So we're just gonna try it again today, see how it goes. Hopefully we'll have some fish on here soon. I'm gonna show you exactly where we went fishing at. So we ended up setting up in four or five different spots um, throughout the course of the morning, but in general, they were right in this area. And this is right where we set up our first spot. When we got out of the truck, we saw that it was about two degrees Fahrenheit, so it was a really cold morning. Um, but that made some, for some really good thick ice. And uh, luckily we had the power auger to drill through it really quick. All right, we finally got the tent all set up and we're just ready to start fishing. Um, yeah, we're about just in 13 feet of water, so it's not very deep, but worked pretty good last time. So we'll see how it goes. It wasn't long after putting our bait in the water that we started seeing some fish um, come take a look at it. Throughout the course of the morning, we found that white jigs with a little bit of worm on them seemed to work the best. Oh yeah, he's nice. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's awesome. First fish of the day. We've only been here five, ten minutes. Yeah, oh yeah, it's a nice cutthroat. How big do you think he is? Nice. Occasionally these schools of little fish would come by and just go crazy on our bait, but they never quite committed enough to bite it to where we could set the hook on them. But it wasn't too long before we had some more big fish coming around. Yeah, that's a big one. This guy messed with us for a few minutes. <laughs> Holy cow. Big fishy. <laughs> he was aggressive, man. Yeah, that's good. He attacked me. Oh, he swallowed a hole. Yeah. He grabbed it and he me. We set up in a new spot, which ended up being a lot shallower than we thought it would be. Um, once I looked down my hole, I saw a crawdad there that was just about five feet below me. With a little bit of luck and skill, I was able to get him to grab onto my bait and I pulled him to the surface and popped him out of the water. We ended up getting some nice cut through out of this shallow spot. Finesse him out of that hole. Oh, he wrapped around the other line. Isn't he? My drag might be too loose. Oh, probably, yeah. Yeah, he wrapped around the other line. That's okay. Are you coming up? Yeah, he's coming up. on the edge of the hole's not good. He's fighting good. Holy smokes. You coming up? Yeah. 
Nice. Yeah, he wrapped around the other pole. He came out of nowhere and he just swallowed it. Let's see. What do you think he is? Like a um, 18 inch? Yeah, probably 18 inch. He's hold, pretty long, he's skinny though. Hold him up here. Good, a bunch of little ones are messing with us, and he just came out of nowhere. And he's pretty long, but not very fat. Nice. <laughs>